Hi guys, so if you are like me, you've noticed that with time your Samsung is not that responsive anymore to your commands like it was in the beginning. So there is something that we can do about that. But I want to mention from the beginning that this is not a magical method. I'm not going to show you any way to hack into the system of the TV or anything like that. This is actually an option that is provided by Samsung to us. Uh, first of all, this is a 2019 model, but this is going to work or on any other models of Samsung Smart TVs. So in order for us to do this, we have to locate first the um, multimedia button on the remote. If you don't know how that looks like, it should be something similar to a cube with a lot of colors, or at least something that resembles a cube. Uh, mine, it's actually the one with uh, the house on it. So if I click on that, if I press on that button, we will get this menu. Now, using the arrow keys, press the left one until you reach settings. Don't press OK now. Again, using the arrow keys, press the up one, and then pressing the left and right one will allow you to navigate through this menu. You have a ton of cool features here, um, cool settings. I'm not going to go into details on these ones. The one that we are interested in, it's actually the last one on this page and it's called TV Device Manager. If we click OK on this one, it's going to take one or two seconds to open up. Uh, for a lot of you, this might seem familiar. This is because you have this menu on a lot of smartphones or tablets or any other devices. Um, the first two options are the one that interest us right now but I'm going to tell you about the last one also uh, this is used to delete apps from your TV so let's get back to the first one which says CPU which is the processor and it says there to improve performance free up memory by clearing cached memory if we click OK if we press OK on clean now the TV is going to clear the cache memory the second one the RAM memory, and the most important in my opinion. Uh, as you see, it says there to improve performance, free up memory by closing unused background apps. So I'm going to click OK on this one because it's going to take a little bit more than the CPU. So press the OK. Uh, so what, what's happening? When you open an app on your TV, like YouTube or Netflix, when you click exit or return to get back to your cable TV, the app is not closing. The app is actually still open in the background, even you don't see it on your screen. And that app in the background, or those apps, if you have more, are going to use the processor or the RAM memory. And because of this, your TV might 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 be lagging. You might you might feel like it's moving slowly, a little bit slower than it was uh, moving before, especially when you first bought it. So um, yeah, this is how you do it. This is definitely going to help you, especially if you are doing this for the first time since you since you uh, purchased the, the TV. Um, I would advise you to do this regularly when you remember doing this, because once you get back right now to YouTube or any other app, that app is still going to remain in the background when you exit. So come here to, to from time to time to to close the apps. I hope this helped you. Um, consider leaving a like, a comment, even subscribing to my channel. It really helps me a lot. And uh, yeah, bye.